the oldest congregations in the entire region is celebrating its 175th anniversary this year. Joining me is Jean Van Gelder of First Congregational Church in Beloit, which has since 1838 a very rich history. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about the background of the church, 175 years. You know, the church was actually founded by a group of uh, immigrants who came from New England. And they were looking for a place to live, and they really liked the intersection of Rock River and Turtle Creek. So they started a church, and a man by the name of Horace Bushnell, who was a doctor, said, I know you don't have money to pay me, but you can work on behalf of the church, providing your labor and doing things. And so their first church was actually built in that manner. Now, it did end up burning down after a lightning strike in the 1990s, and which you told me before the break, what is different about this church than the old church? Well, the old church was built almost without any nails, believe it or not. It was built in 1862, just oh. in the middle of the Civil War. Oh. It was a landmark building. It was truly beautiful. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, 1998, uh, lightning hit it. It smoldered for five hours and burst forward. Oh. And so some items were able to be Say, Good. but not enough. And we're taking a look at uh, pictures of the new congregation. Now, what is this? I understand there are no lightning rods in the building. Why is that? No, no, I'm saying in an Amish church. Oh. <laughs> We have say, lightning rods. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you crazy? You know, I was just about to go to church on Sunday when. Okay, so tell me about the event starting. It starts Thursday, it starts right? on Friday. Like I said, I am really on my A game today. Yeah. Starts Friday. We have an evening of historical perspectives. We have That's portrayals cool. of Frederick Douglass. We also have uh, Mary Todd Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Douglass was to Beloit once, uh, and Abraham Lincoln was to Beloit twice. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have some very special music with some very talented artists. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. Well, again, thank you so much for your time, Jean Van Gelder. This is going to be a very important celebration. Anything else you wanted yeah, to highlight? I just want to mention, yeah, I can see it right yeah, we have the community, community activity, 1 o'clock at Horsewhite Park. And then we have a very special Sunday service at 1030, uh, where we're going to have a choir of 150 people, and it should be just a great time for the life of the church. It sounds great. Thank Thanks you. again for coming thank up. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.